In March 2011, four, very possibly six, nuclear reactors melted down in Fukushima, Japan, into the Pacific jet stream and the Pacific Ocean, imperiling and devastating the environment and the health of persons young and old, in a radioactive scourge that continues to this day, and will continue for generations to come. Hi there, my name's Andrew. Um, I've made several uh, made-for-YouTube documentaries about the Fukushima disaster and the radiation plume that is uh, moving across, um, well, from Fukushima into America, basically circling the Northern Hemisphere, causing mutations, uh, cancers, uh, early deaths, beyond which, um, beyond the uh, uh, worldwide nuclear plume, that already exists from the uh, thousands of nuclear tests um, that occurred from the 1940s uh, into the 1980s. Um, now, the f danger from Fukushima is um, ever present. It's being ignored by the uh, by the government, uh, by our institutions. So what I've done now is I've set upon making a film, uh, basically a docudrama or infotainment. Uh, to introduce the, the Fukushima disaster and the radioactive plume, uh, plume gate into the lexicon of the public consciousness by creating, yes, infotainment or um, a popcorn movie uh, that tells the truth about Fukushima uh, for a change. So um, I've basically thrown my hat over the fence, bitten off more than I can chew and, and uh, chewed like crazy and ended up with uh, so far half a film. Um, now I'm asking for your help to uh, financially back me. I have no financial backers, government support, um, to help me finish this film and have it distributed as widely as possible to film festivals and beyond. Now please consider donating to uh, PayPal abyss73 at gmail.com. Uh, take a look at my documentaries um, to see who I am. Uh, where I've come from, and people who have collaborated with me um, in my documentaries and in and in, in, in this um, documentary film, documentary drama uh, that we are making, it's entitled "The Department." Uh, yes, we're halfway through. Uh, it's a conversation that people uh, need to hear about radiation because uh, all they're hearing otherwise is uh, mindless pop culture and endless sports uh, events uh, which I'm sure you're familiar with but um, uh, aren't always as essential as um, the uh, news stations seem to think they are. So we need a conversation that uh, is being ignored by government, green groups, um, it's a conversation about Fukushima, about radiation, about spent nuclear fuel storage that threatens an even greater disaster uh, than Fukushima many times over if, if that were uh, unimaginable but um, definitely on the cards so um, if you care about Fukushima about your children's future um, spread the word about Fukushima uh, provide links to people support activists and uh, please consider uh, uh, giving some financial backing to this film because um, uh, yeah, I've spent um, thousands of dollars of my own funds uh, in making this film, and um, you know I've I've committed myself to finishing it at some stage. And uh, so, uh, yeah, activism is yeah, film activism is made possible through crowdfunding. Um, and please, if you could, have a look at this trailer and uh, share it as widely as possible. And I uh, look forward to hearing some of your feedback about the trailer and I uh, hope to release the film as soon as possible. Thank you very much for your attention and your support. How bad is it? It's very bad. 
worse than Chernobyl would be an understatement. We will have to get moving fast on moderating the news coverage of the accident. Uh, who will you have in mind for uh, directing the cover-up? We need the latest on Daiichi. The real deal now. Not the BS you're dealing to the public, yeah? The truth is hard to say right now. Well, what can you extrapolate from what you do know? We know it is worse than 1986. There are six reactor buildings. Each of is nuclear reactor cores with 100 tons of nuclear fuel rods. One, two, and three melted. These three reactor cores are probably melting into the ground below. That's going to be very difficult to conceal. We create a series of bluffs, uh, diversions and uh, contrary signals to obscure what is actually going on in Fukushima. Why do you think the government hides it? The nuclear industry is the government. Some people protest, but too many just go along. If they can't see the radiation, for them, it does not exist. As long as we are here, Emiko will be fine. Kids who live near Fukushima area, they are, what do you know, underweight, fatigue, even heart attacks suddenly. I want to thank you for reporting on this. There's media silence in Japan. Maybe it's better here in America. Oh yeah, go on, click the subscribe button. We need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us guys and it's, it's really bad.